Hello everyone, my name is Mick Warrior and we're back playing Subnautica! Last episode, we left off and located the thermal plant for the blue tablet, an essential item in order to get to the primary containment facility where the Sea Emperor is. Is that the right word? Okay. So, uh, we are preparing to disembark. We are going to go. Going to descend. And there is a sea dragon. Engine powering up. Okay, we're gonna go silent here. Alright. I'm gonna have to use the sonar. I know it's down here somewhere. It's over there. Alright. So we're using thermal. We're using thermal to power up our to recharge. Our... Hmm. That's an interesting shape. Well, no, no, not today, Mister. There we go. There it is. So we're going to descend. Rig for silent running. We gotta be careful. I did save, didn't I? I think I did. <laughs> uh, what a what a pain. I think this is it, but it's not... It's really hot here. It's not safe to drop down. Get back 
backed up a bit. And please render properly. I think this is it. This is where we should be. Engine powering down. Okay, so got a couple of le lava leech, lava larvae. Get the heck away! Right, are you ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready. But tree is ready. Right. Cyclops. Gotta go there on foot. time. Now I'm ready. My body is ready. Take this please as an offering. Life specimens terminated. Evacuate immediately. Wow. That's just terrible. Tablet needed. Okay, you got it. Okay, uh, I think that's the main. That's we need, where we need to go. For now, let's just look around. Rudimentary tablet. This device shares many similarities with the tablets used to access the alien facilities, although its structure is rather less complex. It may have served a similar purpose, granting security access and storing relevant data, and thus kept here as a form of legacy support. Circular object. Holographic projector. This device contains network apparatus and holographic projection unit. It was likely used as a communications relay, capturing and projecting the image of the user to a remote location. 
there do not appear to be any other devices in range. Alien statue? This artifact is unpowered, suggesting it served a ceremonial rather than a practical purpose. The pyramid resembles vines spiraling upward towards the warm blue stone mounted above it. It may represent a plant found on the alien's home world, a building of religious import, or even the gravitational pull of their home solar system. Strange carving. Alien carving. This carving is hundreds of thousands of years old and made from an unrecognized natural fiber grown on an unknown planet. It bears striking resemblance to the old Earth yin-yang symbol. Two competing theories may explain the similarity. One, aliens visited Earth prior to the 4th century BC and influenced the development of ancient Chinese philosophy. Two, the concept of yin and yang is universal since yin and yang describes the fundamental interdependency of seemingly opposite forces. It may be a necessary existential understanding in some form in all sufficiently developed civilizations. Tapering, the tapering of two circles or union into opposed and infinitesimally small points is one logical way to represent this understanding and may have been developed independently by species other than humans. Cool story. Whoa. Whoa. There's an infinite supply of... Ancient Earth Blade. An ancient Earth Blade dating back to the 13th century. Blood samples on the blade match the DNA of seven separate heads of state from the period. This evidence supports the theory that the aliens are an ancient space-born civilization engaged in the superstitious study of less developed species. Wow, okay. Let, let's check out this side first. What's over here? Oh, please. Please don't. Please, 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 please. Hold together. Oh, it's another gate. Can activate that. We can make more ion cube. They generate ion cubes. Excellent. Path to anywhere and everywhere. Wow, this is this is a great opportunity. All right, let's check over this way. Whoa! Please stop lagging. Oh wow! Paper. This is amazing. Alright. It's like a re it is sort of like a research facility. Alright, let's uh Peepers entering containment facility. The pipes drawing water into the containment facility are filled with peepers arriving from the surface. The fists show no signs of distress. The specimens scanned have all consumed high quantities of seed and organic matter from the surface. Some specimens are beginning to show signs of infection. Integrating new PDA data. Ventilation control. Water flowing to and from the primary containment facility is being automatically controlled. 
independently of other safeguards. Data on the water composition has been recorded. In flow says, water is being drawn from different biomes around the surface of the planet. The water temperature is considerably lower than the volcanic environment outside the facility, while microorganism and nutrients counts are substantially higher. Outflow, oxygen deprived water is being flooded from the system and recycled back to the surface. Peeper, where are you going, Peeper? Going down, 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 down. And it's going back up. That's cool. We're like on a museum touring. Alright, next tour. Like it's another gate to open. It is. Hello. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have to add another uh, set of beacons for this. Welcome aboard, Captain. Gosh. Let's go to look in the other side. Can I have some more ion, please? Okay, now fun's over. All right, let's take a look at these bad boys. Our next alien technology. Translation device. This device stores... Oh. Yes. Ow! What the heck? You little... Because I'm infected, aren't uh, you racist? You racist little piece of crap. I was reading! I thought it was a safe place. Dang it. Alright, let me just... Scan then. Nanobots. Nanobots. Alright, All right, let's just scan it. Alright. I'm gonna read it here because these things keep attacking me. Where is it? Uh, no, 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 no. Where is it? There we go. Tracking implant. This construct is emitting a high bandwidth signal consistent with alien transmissions intercepted elsewhere. DNA on the exterior indicates it was once implanted inside one of the life forms indigenous to 4546B. Its size suggesting the subject was a Leviathan class organism. Beyond tracking and broadcasting its location, the implant may also have recorded biological data on the subject. However, this data cannot be retrieved. Organic matter particular, this device contains a highly unstable radioactive isotope likely to destroy or organisms exposed to it while leaving physical structures intact. Although it would function perfectly well as a weapon, it was more likely used to sterilize spaces for later inhabitation. Without instructions, it would be unwise to interact with it. Nanobots. Scans show some form of advanced nanobot inside a seemingly empty case. These bots are substantially smaller than any developed within the Federation, and it is not possible to ascertain their exact function. It would, however, be unwise to release them. Good call. Alien building block. This rock-like object features organic as well as mechanical parts, and there is some genetic and technological crossover with the design of the self-warping constructs encountered elsewhere. It appears to serve no purpose in its current state and is wait awaiting some kind of activation sequence. 
Materials such as this may have been a fundamental building block of the aliens' technology, or even of the aliens themselves. Yes! Knowledge! Alright, let's go here then. Wait! Yay! More ion! I don't care if I'm taking my time. I love taking my time. This is a museum of natural alien history. Open this up. Here, have some ion. Oh, thank you, thank you. Ooh, please be something good. Okay, there's only one part here. <gasps> more knowledge! This room appears to be a biological archive storing more than 40 indigenous egg specimens in different states of development. Ooh, 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 ooh. Are there no... Are there no wriggly thingies? Oh, 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 knowledge, knowledge. Okay, not allowed to scan it then. Aww. Okay, let's just interact with this one. Integrating new PDA data. Sea Emperor Levian research data. Specimen size categories have been adjusted upwards to accommodate this species. Feeding and digestion. Alien research data indicates that despite its size, this species feeds entirely on microorganisms. It filters from the water, which themselves depend on a complicated ecosystem of plant and animal life. Reproduction. Large ovary-like organs are carried in the creature's middle section, suggesting that, like other species on this planet, it produces eggs. However, internal scar tissue indicates probable infertility. Enzyme 42. The emperor manufactures Enzyme 42 within its stomach cavity to break down its food, and will occasionally expel it into the surrounding waters. This substance was found to neutralize the effects of the bacterium, and its presence in the ecosystem today would explain how life on the planet survived the outbreak. It would remain to be explained by what mechanism the enzyme is being delivered. Health. A uh, comparative analysis of size and metabolic rates indicate the specimen captured by the researchers was approximately 1,600 years old. Extensive internal and external scar tissue suggest it had lived well in excess of the peak lifespan for its species. Assessment. While a healthy emperor specimen may have held some potential as a cure, it is unlikely any research subject survived quarantine procedure. Well, kind of she survived. I need some I need some natural drink. Good, see. Okay, I'm I'm not allowed to scan these. Okay, these are like Okay. Nothing to scan here I guess. It's an archive. Of various eggs. Okay. I'm not allowed to scan it then. I understand. But it's amazing! Come on. Let's go to the next door. Another warp gate. Alright, we have completed all sides. Time to mine some more ion. Ion, ion, on the guys, Ion can. Yay! Okay, now let's go over here. What does this thing do? Data. Right, Enzyme 42 project data. According to translated data logs, an indigenous Leviathan species was found to produce a unique substance referred to as Enzyme 42, which inhibited the symptoms of the Cara bacterial infection in other indigenous organisms. The specimen was captured and contained in a purpose-built habitat for further study. 
The alien researchers went to great lengths to provide for the life form's environmental needs, including the import of interdependent flora and fauna via an on-site warp gate. However, however, its health quickly deteriorated. The quarantine was imposed, all warp gates and force fields were sealed, all attempts to develop the enzyme into a vaccine has been unsuccessful. Right. Now what's over here? <gasps> More! My knowledge. Oh, what is that? It looks grim. Okay, hang on. Please don't be any jumpy things. Okay, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. No jumpy things, please. Preserved fetus. Sea Emperor fetus. Found preserved in a display case, it was likely a child of the adult specimen contained within the facility. Physiology, superficial damage to the specimen indicates it was artificially removed from its egg casing. Oh god, that's terrible. Stun, stunt in tissue development suggests the organism expired during the removal process. Tissue samples have been taken from the digestive tra tract. Analysis states it appears the aliens were attempting to formulate a cure for the bacterium from enzymes produced in the specimen's digestive system. Without a young, healthy specimen, these efforts were in Healthy specimen, these efforts were in vain. That, that's, 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 uh... Oh no. Okay, uh, there's one more here, I think. Oh, there's another one there. Ooh. Preserved. This is, must be the casing. Sea Emperor Egg Casing uh, Shell Composition A shell casing is formed from thick layers of carbon composite, suggesting an extensive gestation period. This Leviathan species may give birth just once per century, perhaps just once in their lifetimes. Cell, shell Casing Incisions Precise incisions suggest a layer-based tool was used to cut open the egg casing and forcibly remove the fetus inside prior to full gestation. You're not supposed to do that. Analysis. Time pressure to develop a bacterial vaccine may have driven an alien researchers to cut open this egg and remove the fetus for study. It is also possible that removed from its parent and natural habitat, some vital conditions from the infant would attach naturally was not met. I can't force it. Alright. So we're learning a lot from this. Let's see, if we force these things... Not gonna meet. All right, ooh, more, hey, more of that. Okay, I'm gonna end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. I am excited to finally meet the emperor, the sea emperor, and we will finally try to create our own vaccine because the aliens failed to do so. So this is Meek Warrior, and I out of here.